Banner Kings is one of the hardest total conversion mods to add mods to. Not because of the way you necessarily have to install them, but because Banner Kings affect so many different areas of Bannerlord. If you want to learn more about what Banner Kings actually does, click the video in the corner right here or in the description after the video. But with all that said, a lot of you were still interested and had asked for an updated Banner Kings mod list that is easy to follow and not so complicated. So with that, we're going to try and improve Bannerlord even further than what even Banner Kings does, if that's even possible. This mod list will aim to try and make Bannerlord feel more complete. Banner Kings does a great job at this already, so we're going to just try and build on top of that. To do this, we need to ensure that we have covered and improved every possible corner of the game that still needs more work and with as little mods as possible. To do this, I'm going to break up these mods into sections, quality of life, battles and sieges, management, and family. This way, we know we have covered every section or corner of the game that still needs improvement without having to add a million mods and your load order ending up looking like this and eventually crashing your game. In previous mod list videos, I usually explain a little bit about each and every mod, but today I'm not going to go into great detail about each and every one, so if you do want to learn more about them before you install them, they will all be linked down below. There will also be some in-game setting changes at the end, so make sure you at least stick around to see those. If you don't, you can't say I didn't warn you. Banner Kings does run on version 1.2.11, so make sure you go ahead and change your game version before downloading any mods. If you don't know how, you can watch my install video right here in the top right corner. Now, let's try and fix Banner Lord. The first section will be the quality of life mods. In this section, we have CC's banners, historical banner icons, more hero interactions, I don't care campaign log filter, Banner Lord XP tweaks, more arenas, banner craft, better time, and realistic weather. With these mods, you'll be able to customize your banners even further, expand and dialogue options with NPCs, an updated XP system for players and NPCs, more arenas to fight in, craftable armors, and realistic weather that adds different buffs and debuffs to all parties. The second section will be battles and sieges. Most of the mods in this mod list will be in this section, as I think this is the part of Bandlord that still needs the most work. In this section, we have Dismemberment Plus, Battle Order Tweaks, Battle Size Resized, Zorbiax Legacy, Cinematic Combat, The Blood Mod, Perfect Fire Arrows, Immersive Battlefields, RTS Camera, and Reinforcement System. With all these mods installed, you're guaranteed a fresh feel to Bandlord's old combat system. You'll now have much larger battle sizes to get rid of that old wave function, new fighting animations, new and different camera angles, and an entirely new concept that allows nearby parties on the map to join your battle while it's even ongoing, and many more new features. The next section is management, and while there aren't many mods here, they are still very useful and important. We have improved garrisons, better prisoner recruitment, inventory search enabler, equip best item, and party AI control. All of these mods has a wide range of different features, so I highly suggest you all go check them out for yourselves. And the last section we have is family, and this section aims to improve how you interact with members of your clan and family, and also how they interact with each other. We have character reload, Mavs expand your clan, and fast dialogue. These mods will not only allow you to manage your clan and family members, but also edit them however you would like. You can even adopt or recruit random villagers, train your companions, take up concubines, and much more. Now there are a few other mods that you will need to install if you want your load order to look exactly like mine at the end. We need to install the Better Pikes mod and the Better Pikes Banner Kings Culture Expanded Patch mod. You are also going to need to install the Realistic Battle Mod Spear Preference Patch mod. And of course, you will always need your four dependency mods, Harmony, Butterlib, UX Tender EX, and Mod Configuration Menu. After you have installed all of your mods, your load order should look exactly like this with these exact game versions. If you're having trouble finding an exact version for a mod, comment down below or join my Discord which is linked down below and me or someone will try and help you out. Now that you have all your mods installed, along with the quick load order and dependencies, there are just a few setting changes that we need to make before playing. First, head over to the mod options and find Zorbiax Legacy and disable the Banks of Calradia. Next, go into the Realistic Battle Mod settings and disable the Troop Modules, Tournaments, and the Combat Module. Then, head over to Settings and Performance and scroll down until you see Battle Size. Here, you can use a Battle Size Resize mod and up your troop count to a total of 2,000 troops. As I said in the beginning, Banner Kings is very difficult to add mods to just because of how many different areas of Banlord it already touches on. With all that that said, I do recommend that you play this total conversion mod with as little mods on top of it as possible to minimize any conflicts or crashes. But if you have any other mods that you think I might have missed and that you know for sure that works with Banner Kings, be sure to let everyone know down in the comments as we can never have enough mods. If this video helped you out in any way or just introduce you into some new mods that you haven't heard of before, be sure to hit that like, bell, and subscribe button as most of y'all watching right now are not subscribed to the channel. And if you're wondering why my load order looks different than yours or if you're just having trouble installing Banner Kings in all of its dependencies, then click on this video right here where we go over how to install Banner Kings in its dependencies correctly. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.